Hello lovely people and in this video we are going to look at the best entries to all of my assignments in the summer. Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and in my classes, face-to-face -face classes and online, I set assignments and I set assignments so that people can test their newly acquired knowledge. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at the best entries from the summer. Here we go. Now the first one that I've chosen is this one here and this one was from a theme that I set abstract. Now abstract is a really really good theme to set people because it tests their use of composition and composition is the most important thing to get right in your shots. You can use good comp composition without knowing any technical stuff. So in this shot here, you can see that we've got a nice repeated pattern coming towards us and these lovely leading lines going out of shot to the right of the frame. It's actually the inside of a boat, an old boat. And um, I just think, it's a really good example of how you can turn something that you wouldn't normally look at and think this is going to make a good picture, but you can then turn it into something really good just using composition. So this is the one I like. It's from Brendan Rooney and it was in response to our assignment abstract. The next one I want to look at is this one here here and this one was an entry to a theme that I set distance. Now I set the theme distance to test students knowledge of depth of field. Have they actually learned what I've taught them about how to use the free controlling elements of depth of field. Now this I think is a really really good image that shows distance and it shows a real control of depth of field. The focus point is on these colorful flowers and obviously as you can see there is a lot of distance in the background of all of these boats and the estuary here in Essex and it's just a lovely lovely picture and it's a good control of photography and that is why I like this one for the theme of distance. Okay now this picture here is in response to the assignment that I set called movement. So we do a lot of work on shutter speeds and controlling movement when we do our classes. And I thought this was a really good response to it. It's actually a technique called panning. And we look at panning in our classes, the online classes and my face-to-face -face one. And this is a really, really good response to it because it looks like this person on the bike is going really, really fast. But actually, they weren't going that fast when I was speaking to the photographer here, Kaylee. Um, they was going quite slow. But it's that control again of shutter speeds that's made it look like that. So this is a really good response to the theme of movement and again, a good control of photography. And that's why I chose this one from Kaylee Arbor for the theme movement. Okay, another assignment that I set was portraiture. Now, portraiture is a very wide open theme. Obviously, it's just for people. But I like this shot here from Mike Rowland. And the reason I like it is the composition of it, the crop of it. It's an unusual crop. You don't normally see this type of composition for a portrait. I also like the way it's got a real shallow depth of field and also the mood of the shot. When it comes to portraiture, it's really important to get a good mood because that's what people are going to sink into. That's what people are going to buy into, the mood of that shot. This has got that and it's got a good composition, a lovely crop, nice shallow depth of field. I like it. And that's why I've chose this one for portraiture from Mike Rowland. And lastly, we've got a lovely shot here in response to the theme of symmetry. Now, this 
is a really good use of symmetry. Now you use symmetry to create a clinical, clean, ordered look or feeling in your pictures. And this shot definitely has got that. A really, really good use of composition. It's got that clean, clinical look. It really does the job well. So well done, Brendan. And that was my choice for the symmetry assignment that I set. Okay, so that's just a snapshot of all of the stuff that we've done over the summer. Now, if you want to join our assignments, just come over to theschooloffotography.com and sign on to our newsletter and you can join in on our assignments. Now, I'm afraid that you're not going to win thousands and thousands of pounds worth of equipment. You join our assignments just for the sheer love of photography and to join in to our learning community. So if you want to be tested and pushed in our assignments, come and see us over at theschooloffotography.com where we set your assignments and we teach you the best in photography. Also, don't forget to come and see us over on our social media feeds such as Facebook and Instagram. Again, we've got a lovely learning community over there as well and we'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography. And that's why I've chose this one for portraiture by Mark, I'm sorry. And that's why I've chose this one for portraiture by Mark. <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do Mike. it once more. Mike, Mike, Mike.